Look, there will be a time in your fitness journey that you will get very bored of working out. And let's be honest, that will happen. It's probably happening right now as you're watching this video. But into this video, I'm going to tell you how to overcome that and how to probably, I don't know, change this for the rest of your life. Because the main thing with this is just mentality and also changing a little bit of the habits. Now, let's start with this. So if you've been doing power lifting or power building in any way, for X amount of months. There's something that you probably start to notice. The lifts are not uh, getting better, meaning that you're not hitting any new PRs or you're not hitting any new weight. And that might mean one thing and one thing only. It's like you are already tired. Your body's already all worked out for so many months doing the same thing, increasingly getting the way up in your lifts and getting PRs every two, three weeks. If you're already there to the point that you haven't gotten a PR in the last four weeks, that means that your body's capping out. It's just like maxing out. What I do when that happens to me, I take deloads, uh, meaning that I take two to three days off the gym or two to three days where I'm not doing a lot of uh, my regular workout sets. Let's say if I bench 225 for three reps, uh, there'll be like a whole month that I'm going to just do 200 pounds or 210 for like two, three reps, right? Uh, letting my muscles recover for that amount of time. And since I'm a natural, and since you are probably a natural because you are watching me, thank you for watching again. Hit the like button if you're international bodybuilding. You need to understand that your body will recover at a slower speed rate than someone that is not natural. And that's why when you see these people, uh, the fitness influencers of the world that are telling you, do this, do that, do this, do that. The one thing that they keep out is like, yeah, you know, you can do this and do that in this pace because I'm recovering faster because I'm putting stuff in my body that will make me, I don't know, better than before. Now, make sure your nutrition is on point, uh, eat more protein. Maybe you need to change your diet a little bit. Those things are all around there in the internet. That's easy, very easy to find. Now, the number two thing that I would suggest is for you to probably start some calisthenics. I've been doing pull-ups for a while, like for three years. Uh, can do like 15 pull-ups in a row. I could pull myself up uh, about 170 pounds, 180 pounds, but I thought most ups were not going to be as hard. Uh, the thing with most ups is that a lot of technique is involved with that. And you need to keep in mind that if you're going to do a muscle up, you need to do the simple steps that everyone is talking about in all these YouTube videos. And the number one that I would suggest to keep in mind is the assisted bands. The same way that you probably did assisted pull-ups when you were doing it the first time, you have to do assisted muscle-ups. And the only way that you can do that is by getting like a band. And with the band, you attempt the muscle-ups. That's actually the number one tip that helped me the most to actually perform muscle-ups the first time. And ever since I learned how to do that back in, I don't know, four or five months ago, uh, it's been fun. I've been actually tweaking it a little bit to the point that I can do muscle ups on my own without any assistive bands. And my goal, I guess, for the next year is like to get to five muscle ups and eventually do weighted muscle ups. That that will be fun. But those are the two things that I would suggest for you to keep in mind if you find yourself a little bit what's the word saturated or you know upset or like I don't know you don't want to do the gym anymore and you you want to stop this. That's an option for sure, but try those two things. Take a deal off and add some calisthenics to your work. Also, if you haven't done like dips or weighted dips or weighted pull-ups, that's another way to like get a little bit excited for your workouts. Cause if you're not having fun, you're not gonna be able to, I don't know, you, you're not gonna be able to like complete the workouts. Cause you're gonna be thinking, oh, this is like work, a task that I don't wanna accomplish. Uh, I always make sure to add one fun movement every day that I go to work out. Because at the end of the day, there's something that you might like more than other exercises. Like there's one exercise that you like more than other exercises. And if you have that one exercise during the day that you're going to work out, that'll be fun, I guess. I know, that's my opinion. So if you like this, make sure to hit the like button. If you learn something, subscribe. Uh, let me know down in the comments uh, if there are any other things that you do to keep yourself motivated whenever you feel down in the gym or overwhelmed or if you haven't hit any PRs. So that's all I have for today. Stay natural. See ya.